friends, today is October 27th and I came here seven days later after my last film uh, from this place and let's see what changes in those seven days since I haven't been here. Volcano is super active, I'm surprised to see it so active as it is. We are back at the church, uh, the same location where we always come. I haven't been here for seven days. I came here from Iceland. I went to Iceland, you know, by plane. Now it's easy to travel by plane, they're cheap. So I went to Iceland to see my sons because I have two sons in Iceland and I need, I need to spend some time with them. And now I return to La Palma. And there are, of course, changes here. And at the first look, I see immediately that the front wind grew up actually seems like two winds to the front they match merged together and formed this big outflow river to the front front you see this big output where a lava is shooting up and the lava course also changed you know lava was going to the side here to the north and then it had been flowing sideways uh, and now it's different. Now lava is coming through this form of this big channel to the front, straight to the front. And it has eaten those houses that had been to the front of volcano. I call it the miracle houses, you remember? They are no more, I don't see them. There are some houses here, another miracle houses, that still stand there. One, two, three. I think those are the miracle houses. Well, anyway, most of miracle houses are gone. Three houses remain only here. And that's the difference. So, the volcano formed this big frontal wave, which was not there. It's enlarged in a new big outflow channel, which got much wider. The volcano itself, of course, grew in size somewhat, not much, but it did become bigger in seven days, as you see. It's emitting a lot of ash. See this black cloud that comes from it now. And let's take a look at what had changed in seven days uh, around here. Uh, we see lava advance to the front. It still hasn't made it to the checkpoint. This is a checkpoint here. You see. Uh, this place is called Tahuya checkpoint in Tahuya. And a lava still hasn't made it here, but it ma eaten many houses. There had been many more houses here. Uh, it had eaten them. Here is a house. is almost consumed. You see then, this is some, some enterprise. It's not a house, it's enterprise. I don't know what enterprise, but it's almost gone. Surprisingly enough, surprisingly enough, Agro Rincom Enterprise still remains. You see, it, well, but lava came very close to it. You see, it almost has eaten it. This is Cement Enterprise, which was producing cement, and it's almost gone. But still, lava came to this house, Agro Rincon. It almost eaten it. You see, it's surrounded. It started burning. Those are car wrecks from vehicles that had been returned for recycling. The recycling vehicles, they are still standing there. And uh, let's take a look further. What changed around here? See, lots of people. Most of them speak Spanish, so they are local or from Spain. But there are more foreigners. I just was speaking from two French tourists now. See Laguna, what is going on in Laguna? You see lava is moving through Laguna. It did move further, you see. It did took over many houses here. Wow, it went through this. You know, some block houses, those block houses are still remaining there. But lava is very close to them. It did eat many houses in Laguna, you see. Banana plantations. This is Todokwe Mountain. There is police there on the top. And 
here also has eaten many houses there had been much destruction in Laguna in seven days as I see it is very sad banana plantations yeah there had been there had been big expansion here uh, between next to sorry uh, next to La Montaña La Laguna and seems like Lava went between the went between those two mountains here towards the ocean and but this flow seems like it's not burning head northwest on Caratera general it's not burning on anything so it's um lava still uh, I'm not sure if it's expanding here I don't see any hot flows right now maybe it's moving under the surface I don't know but nothing is burning right now here nothing is burning but you see what they did in Iceland when lava was going to where they didn't want it to go they poured hot water in it you know they pumped hot water into the hot lava and they simply fossilized it and made the lava wall from the lava itself you know and lava couldn't expand there because there was cold lava there like a wall you know so you can use old lava uh, to cool it with water and make it uh, an obstacle I don't know why they don't do it here on uh, uh, on La Palma they could have simply poured cold water on this area and make a wall out of it you know fresh lava wouldn't go under the tunnels through the tunnels through this lava you know I don't do this I don't know why they don't do it here in, in La Palma there are many ways to stop the lava they don't try anything here you see expansion this was uh, seven days ago you remember this house it was there at the roof and still is there so this house had been eaten anyway this is what is going on here today on October 27th lava moved closer here you see it's almost reached this house it's incredible Wow, you see people there, people are still living there, or maybe he's moving the stuff. Anyway, I wish you all the best greetings from La Palma.